Welcome back from the ad break and let us wrap up our lesson. So remember, in this lesson, we were focusing on multiples and factors. We looked at prime factors. We also looked at finding the lowest common multiple using prime factorization. And we focused on the highest common factor using prime factorization. Remember the key words and the language that we were using in this lesson? We were talking about multiples, we spoke about factors, and we also spoke about frequency. So when you are dealing with multiples and factors, you need to remember these common errors and make sure you do avoid them, please. So when finding the lowest common multiple or the LCM, we take each prime factor without repeating any number. The take, sorry, we take the prime factor with the highest frequency. So you must remember that the lowest common multiple, we take the highest uh, frequency and we list all the factors without repeating any of those factors. Now, when we are working with the highest common factor, then we take the common ones. So remember, the highest common factor, we only take the common ones that we can see, right? And then when we take the common ones, we are going to focus on the lowest frequency, right? So we are going to take the common ones, but make sure we take the lowest frequency. Remember that the LCM of two whole numbers is always bigger or greater than, sorry, bigger, greater, or equals to those two numbers. So when you are finding the lowest common multiple and you find an answer that is actually smaller than those numbers, then you must know that you are doing something wrong. So the lowest common multiple will always be bigger or equals to those two numbers. And then the highest common factor, that one is always going to be smaller than those two numbers or equal to those two numbers, right? So if you are calculating the highest common factor and you find an answer that is actually bigger than those two numbers, then you must know that you did something wrong. You need to go back and recheck your work. Let's end our lesson with a challenge. So the lowest common multiple of two whole numbers is 60 and the highest common factor is six. What are these two whole numbers. So you've, be, you've been given the answer, you need to go and find those two whole numbers. Thank you for today's lesson. I really hope you enjoyed it. I know I did and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.